Hey, it's me, Destin. Welcome back to Smarter Every Day. I apologize up front. My left eardrum has exploded. I have no idea how loud I'm talking. My feedback loop is broken. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to inform you what I did in Australia for two and a half weeks. It was awesome. I did all kinds of crazy stuff, but there's really no linearity to it. I figure the best way is just blah, show you everything. So, here's the deal. We're just going to go on the trip as it went down. You're going to know what to expect coming up on Smarter Every Day. And at the end, I hope you're excited and happy because you saw a wombat me rubbing on a kangaroo and me diving. That's the kind of stuff that's about to happen. Anyway, let's go. Australia. This is Chris Casella. He runs a Facebook page in Australia called Science Alert. He came to Alabama to visit me back in the winter. I didn't really know why I was visiting, but we had a good time. Turns out, I think he was just checking me out to see if I was the real deal and a good fit, because Chris was planning a huge event for National Science Week in Australia. That's how I got to go on this trip. Science Alert flew me to Australia for National Science Week, and my wife. Pretty big deal. So first things first, on the way to Australia, I stopped off and hung out with a buddy named Mark Rober at VidCon. Now Mark let me crash at his house and we went and we did this crazy experiment back behind the Jet Propulsion Lab at NASA. There's this old riverbed that runs behind it, so Mark had just kind of like snuck in there and set up this huge experiment involving fire and mirrors and motors and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, you've got my hat. Anyway, at VidCon, it was pretty awesome. The first thing we did is I did a panel with Gavin from the Slow Mo Guys. It was called The Art and Science of Slow Motion Video. Hey Gavin, my name's Justin. You want to come play in Alabama? Yeah, you have a million subs. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, and so he comes over and uh, he's like, what are we going to do? And we're like, all right, we got a propane tank. You know, we literally took it off my grill. We had a propane tank. And my dad's pond just drained out for some reason. We don't know why. We're going to throw the propane tank at the bottom of the, the, bottom of the pond. And we're going to go get guns. And we're just going to, like, shoot the propane tank. That's, that's the beautiful thing about Gavin's channel. Is it is completely unapologetic. It's like, we don't know what the crap's going to happen. But we're just going to do it. Because on Smarter Every Day, I'm like, okay, now we'll talk about the velocity of the banana as it was sliced. By the so we shoot it. And it just goes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a big white cloud just flew out of it and fucked the entire pond. <laughs> no explosion was there. And, so, and so the pond is full of propane. <laughs> and it's not going anywhere. It's heading to the air. It's just sitting there. We're like, we need fire in that now. <laughs> and so one of us says, Dragon's Breath! Dragon's Breath! <laughs> So we run over and we get the 12 gauge and we're like, look at the dragon's breath. Like, who's shooting? Dan's like, I'm shooting! <laughs> we run and the dragon's like, go! Shot! Nothing. <laughs> we look at each other and we're like, that was going to be a 3 million view video. <laughs> <laughs> it just puffed away. We're watching Dan so violently attack a cloud. <laughs> Now, Dan from the Slow Mo Guys was not there because he's fighting a war right now. Remember that people are still doing that. So another cool thing I did is I just set up a slow motion camera at a booth and I just let people come up and play at what I called the slow motion touch table. They had a lot of fun and there were a lot of really creative people, but I really kind of tricked people into hurting themselves so that I could get it on slow mo and they did it like all day long. It was really fun. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of... So after that, I did a really cool EDU panel with Derek from Veritasium, Emily from Brains Group, and the great John Green from Crash Course. And the cool thing about that is halfway through our panel, this little girl named Presley stands up. She's homeschooled, and she decides to give a monologue about how she feels about educational video on YouTube. I'm, I am a homeschooled child, and I, and I started learn, learning about history and science and such from, from, read, from just reading some books that that we got from the library, but once I found all, all of you guys, I discovered, I discovered, I decided I learned more about history and science and biology and a lot of, 
on a lot of things. So I, so I think it's um, really cool that the, that people make history videos on YouTube, and you all are my favorite teachers. <laughs> I like kids, and I like it when kids learn. So yeah, she reduced us all to blubbering idiots, and we were very happy, but at the same time, we felt very touched. That was pretty awesome. So that was a good way to round off my VidCon experience. Anyway, after that, my wife flew into town, and we just spent a day chilling out at the Getty Center, which is an awesome place you can go and check out amazing architecture, art, all kinds of old manuscripts and books and landscape. It's amazing. Anyway, that's what we decided to do to get ready to go to Australia together for our 10-year anniversary trip. So we fly across the Pacific Ocean and we go straight into Sydney. And from Sydney, we go to Canberra, which is the capital of Australia. I knew things were going to be good because when I got off the plane, I met George and Evan. And they actually recognized me from Smarter Every Day. So George, Evan, was up. Construction on Canberra started in 1913 because Melbourne and Sydney couldn't agree on which city was the coolest and should be the capital. Kind of lame, I know, but that's the way how history works sometimes. Anyway, Canberra means meeting place in the local language. And boom, that's where Chris lives. So what is that? That's Parliament House. That's Parliament? And then, so they moved right up to it. Okay. So that's the capital of Australia. That's the capital that of spot. Australia. Yeah, right there. So in Canberra, we chilled out for a day, got rid of the jet lag, and then the next morning we went to the Tidbin Villa Nature Preserve with Chris. The whole point was to get slow motion video of kangaroos and to let Destin interact with kangaroos. Seriously, I'm going to put my hand down here where your pouch is, and we're just going to see how this goes. Don't bite me. Just don't bite me. Let's just don't do that. I, I cannot fill a pouch. So NASA's based in America, right? Have you ever thought about how they communicate with Mars when it's on the other side of the world? Well, the answer is NASA's Deep Space Network located in Canberra. We were there a few minutes ago. Now we're in Canberra. It's awesome. We went and visited there and I got to learn all kinds of cool stuff. There'll be a video coming out about that. Okay, this is where Chris came through like a serious bro. He knew it was my 10 year anniversary Hello. trip and he knew my wife was going to be like involved in all this science stuff I had to do for the rest of the trip. So he rented a car for us and he sent us up to this place called The Heavens located in Kangaroo Valley. On the way there, we just like got to experience all this crazy wildlife. We kept seeing these really weird things. <sighs> what is it? Oh, goodness. It's stiff as a board. What's it called? The thing we've been seeing dead. A wombat. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is. Here, wombat, wombat, wombat. Where's he going? We had shrimp on the barbie, which nobody says in Australia because they call them prawns. We got to see a place called Fitzroy Falls. It's a really high waterfall. That was That's cool. in the way. <laughs> you know I'm going to do this at some point. Basically, I drove up to a random guy's house. I knock on the door and I was like, hey, I want to meet a real Australian. Can we talk for a little while? I didn't think I would ever see a gun in Australia. I was wrong. I'm extremely impressed. All these things have been modified. After we arrived back in town, that was our first panel. This happened at Australia National University. I sit next to Phil Plate, the bad astronomer, Mitchell and Greg from ASAP Science, Henry from Minute Physics, Elise Andrews from IFLS. We had a really good time. After we got done at the panel at ANU, we got in Chris's van and we drove up to Sydney where we had a meetup with just a bunch of random people that came out when we tweeted about it. We're in Sydney. Okay, we did a meetup. This is Eric. Hey. Eric's been watching since the chicken head tracking video. Yeah. Henry. Same here. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. That's a long time time man one two three so the next morning we got up and Tara and I went to church out in Sydney we visited a guy named John North who had preached in Alabama before we wanted to say hey to him so he took a taxi out to his church and then afterwards came back for a Sydney Harbor cruise which was a big deal because we went swimming in Sydney Harbor in the middle of winter which was crazy so there's this artist called MC Escher and he used to make drawings of mathematically impossible awesome architecture that's like inspired by math check this out I feel like I'm staying in one of his buildings. I'm on the ninth floor, and it's this infinite reality. Like, you can see there's these walkways all over the place, and you can see down several floors. It's like this whole building was designed by M.C. Escher. You can look up, and you can see all these crazy boardwalks. But look at this. So after we left Sydney, we went to Townsville. That's where James Cook University is. It's the place to go for marine biology. After the professors gave us a rundown on all the research they were working on, we went and did another panel, and all these cool people came out and hung out with us. So I need to make a video about touring Australia and put you guys in it. Yeah. What if I put you at the very end so nobody sees you? No. <laughs> 
After the panel, we went and hung out at John Chandler's house, and he lives in the most amazing treehouse in the middle of the woods in Townsville. It was awesome. So immediately after we left Townsville, everybody else went to Orpheus Island, but Tara and I went straight up to Cairns to JCU's research lab. In Cairns, we met two very special people. The first one was Richard Fitzpatrick. Is this what I think it is? Yep. That's an Emmy? That's an Emmy. Just sitting on your desk. It was better than being in a bar. <laughs> so what did you win it for? Um, worst Australian accent in a documentary. <laughs> you uh, just, haven't... just some filming I did for National Geographic a few years ago. No big deal. Also met Dr. Jamie Seymour, who is a world-renowned Venom expert. So, I'm Destin. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, so, so you're on staff here, right? Yeah, yeah I'm a full-time staff member at JCU. Been here for 25 odd years. All right, so you're what? You're a professor that teaches what? Uh, I, you know, a variety of things, but mainly venomous animals. So I'm interested in why animals have venom. Okay, so you don't know it, but uh, me and you just became best friends. Excellent. Yeah, that, yeah. Was easy. that was easy. So you're gonna I haven't even done anything. Are, are you willing to teach me all about venomous animals? Absolutely. Like you wouldn't happen to know the most venomous jellyfish in the world by chance, would you? Uh, yeah, of course. You want to see one? Right there. What? The most venomous animal in the world, not just the most venomous jellyfish. These two guys are the core of what we're going to learn in Smarter Every Day in Australia. We spent time on the reef with them. We spent time in the lab with them. We learned all kinds of stuff from these two guys, and they're just fun to hang out with. Anyway. I guess that's about it. One more note for my wife and I think we'll be done here. So I hope you enjoyed the Australia trip. I know I did and my wife did and you're you're very thankful to who for sending you? To Science Alert and to Audible. Audible.com slash smarter. They're our sponsor and you get a free audio book. I'll leave a link in the video description. You actually signed us up for Audible, didn't you? I did. Like before they approached us, right? Yes. Pre you doing sponsorships for them. Also, what book do you recommend? I recommend The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman, which has helped me significantly over the past 10 years. Come on, everybody knows our, we have a perfect marriage and we never fight. Never. <laughs> what you're saying is, because you love me so much, you want people to download this free audiobook at audible.com slash smarter and go learn about love languages. What's my love language? Probably physical touch and words of affirmation. What's your love language? Because I know it. It's acts of service. And? Acts of service. <laughs> what is it? In quality time. Quality time. So if you want to help me spend more quality time with my wife, then please consider going to audible.com slash smarter and downloading your free audiobook or click the first link in the video description. Happy wife, happy life, right? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm Dustin. You get smarter every day. Have a good one. Sometimes people communicate two different ways when they are... Receiving. We just had a video about how great our marriage is. And we gonna... did. <laughs> Are you ready to go to mommy? You want to go to mommy? Bye. Bye. <laughs> you guys ready to get rid of daddy? No, sir. Why not? Because I love you. I, I love you too. So I told the uh, science alert guy that I would only come to Australia if I could bring my wife for my 10 year anniversary. And uh, this is where he put us up at least one night, so he delivered.